Hi there, welcome to this video. It's great to have you here. And as always, if you could just let me know by typing into the comments section if you can hear me okay, just tell me uh, I can hear you or give me a thumbs up, let me know what's going on. That would be fantastic. And today's video, I'm really excited to share this with you because we're gonna talk about how you can grow your family of prospects and clients and customers, as well as uh, create really good messaging and close more sales. And we're gonna do it in a really unique way. You're probably never gonna guess. But before we get to that, just in case uh, you're joining us for the first time, you can get some help in your business. And if you'd like to get some help with your business, all you have to do is go to bookburk.com. That's uh, B-O-O-K-B-U-R-K-E.com where you fill out a couple questions about what's going on in your business and then you get taken to my calendar and you and I will jump on a live, personal, private, one-on-one -on -one brainstorming session where we'll go over uh, what we need to do to work on your business and you'll leave with a fully ready to implement action plan. That's bookburk.com. All right, so let's jump into this. Today's video is one of my favorite subjects to talk about and it's the power of messaging. That's the pillar we're going to be talking about. And how we do this is going to allow you to build that family of prospects and clients and customers around you, as well as close more sales. But we have to focus on messaging in order to do that. And one of the tips and tricks to create really good messaging is through the power of story. And clients come to me all the time and they're telling me about how their email campaigns are doing and how their Facebook ad campaigns are doing and how their lead generation pieces are doing and they want them to improve. And uh, they usually tell me with the numbers they're getting that they feel a little, a little bit let down, that they feel like they should be doing better, that they feel like everybody else knows something that they don't. And so I like to jump into what's going on and take a look at everything. And they, they make the same mistake most people do. And so I tell them to start using the power of story because the power of story is something that's been around. It predates the Gutenberg press. It predates handwriting even. The power of story is how we used to deliver really important lessons and, and stories and messages to one another, uh, whether it was telling somebody to stay away from a certain area because there was a saber-toothed tiger, or it was don't eat that crazy good-looking red berry because it'll kill you. Uh, it was a survival mechanism. And so stories are something we hold near and dear to our heart. And so if you can use story in your messaging, you will really attract uh, better level quality prospects as well as tie and bond. That sounds really weird, doesn't it? Tie and bond your current clients and bring back your past clients. Uh, story is really, really powerful. And there's some right ways to do it and some wrong ways to do it. And today we're going to talk about story in the method of our advertisements. And that advertisement could live on Facebook. It could be a script for a YouTube video. It could be an email. It doesn't matter. But I want to, to give you a couple examples. Definitely one example. And if we have enough time, I'll do an, a second example as well because I really want to hit this home for you. It's so important. And uh, if you ever feel, sometimes my clients feel like, oh, I'm just not good at writing stories. I was the same way. I studied engineering. I was a math and analytics guy. I was not, I hated English. <laughs> As you can tell, um, I hated English. I just wasn't a fan of it. It wasn't one of my favorite things. I didn't really learn to love reading until I was 21. So don't feel bad. You can totally get this. Oh, Cobes is joining us. You got her cat tail there. Um, so with story, the thing that's really important is that you don't have to do it well. You just have to practice it. And the more you practice it, the better it'll get. And especially when it comes to your marketing messages or your email messages. And so I want to give you an example. We're going to do the example for house cleaners. And I've got this written down, so I'm going to look off camera here for a second. You'll have to uh, stick with me. Um, here's an ad for a house cleaner that I stumbled across. And it says, if you're in need of home cleaning, apartment cleaning, or a maid service, we're simply the best, most convenient home cleaning service out there. We want you to, uh, oh, we know you want the cheapest house cleaning available while still having the confidence that you will receive a cleaner who is thorough and professional with keen attention to detail. Not much of a story there. 
In fact, it's talking mainly all about them, except for when they say, we know you want the cheapest house cleaning. Uh, side hint here, don't pre-frame about the cheapest, uh, unless you're Walmart, you know, you don't have to be the cheapest. Nordstrom, Barney's, Neiman Marcus, uh, Alexander McQueen, Louboutin, they're all very high end. They're all luxury, Prada, uh, Chanel, and they're doing just fine. So you don't have to be the, the cheapest. Um, so take that, which is not a story, and that's ad copy. And let's compare it to some ad copy I wrote for a house cleaning client of mine. And the story where I used a story formula, and it starts like this. How did it get like this? She approaches the front door, inserts her key, and slowly lets the door swing open. She knows before she even steps inside there's something wrong. Now her evenings are a nonstop ride of taking care of everyone else. She has to cook dinner, clean the dishes, help the kids with their homework, pick up around the house, do the laundry, get the kids to bed, etc. That feeling of excitement she used to have when she'd come home to her family after a long, hard day at the office is gone. These days, family time means more chores added to her ever-growing list of things to do. Even her weekends have been relegated to chores around the house. She's so busy giving to everyone else, she's forgotten what it's like to save something for herself. It's a never-ending ritual. Once everything is finally done, she slides under the covers, exhausted, only to have to wake up early the next morning and do it all again. As her mind races with all the things she has to get done tomorrow, she hears that voice in the back of her head scream out, how did it get like this? She longs for just two straight days where she doesn't have to lift a finger, two days where she can fully recharge her internal battery and start her week on Monday full of energy. What if it didn't have to be this way? She thinks as she drifts off to sleep. She begins to imagine it. The door to her house slowly swings open like a scene in a movie. And as she steps inside, she feels it wash over her like a warm blanket enveloping her from head to toe. Relaxation. Her home has become her sanctuary. As she steps inside, everything is perfect. The kiddos are at the dining room table doing their homework. Her hubby is already helping with dinner and the house is immaculate. Finally, she steps inside, sets her things down, and takes a nice deep breath as the stress melts off of her. Her evenings are hers to spend with her family and give to herself. She's no longer worried about uninvited guests or feeling like she's a slave to a messy home. She feels on top of the world and if she, as if she finally has it all. The life she's worked so hard for has finally come. And it's waiting for you too. Have you ever felt like her? If so, you're not alone and it's not your fault. And so to help you out, we've created our blank, whatever your offer is. If it's a download, you've created your offer to help them uh, have a cleaner home or how to declutter their home. Or if it's a special deal on house cleaning, then it's we've created our uh, successful, you know, busy mom special package. Give us a call to learn more. But let me ask you a question. How amazing was that story? Not just because I wrote it, but because it really pulls you into her world. It pulls you into her life. And if you resonate with that story, you're gonna resonate with this ad. It's not just an ad about the house cleaner. In fact, I don't even mention house cleaning until the very end. Well, I don't mention it at all in that, but in that fill in the blank, that's where you might mention that. Whereas the other thing was, if you need house cleaning, apartment cleaning, or a maid, nobody really wants to read that stuff. Now, here's the deal. When I tell my clients to use stories and I give them an example like this, they usually say, holy cow, that was really long. Nobody's going to read that on Facebook. And I have to be transparent with you. That was 435 words, and it did not include the call to action, which means it was even longer than that. And I've run that ad for several house cleaners and we've gotten house cleaning leads at $3 for name, email, and phone number that all they had to do was pick up the phone and close into their cleaning services. So that ad works and it works over and over again because I've used it with house cleaners all over the US. So you don't have to do the generic brand boring all about me and my product. Craft a story 
create something that your potential client and your current clients and your past clients can step into and live. Give them a place to ex escape into and then give them that solution with your products or your services. So it looks like we have a little bit more time. Let's do a second example, okay? And this example is in dog training and because I've had a lot of dog training clients. So again, I'm gonna look over here to read this and here's an ad that I saw for dog trainers and it kind of breaks my heart. Um, I shouldn't have pre-framed it that way, but our expert knowledge on dog behavior has shaped our dog training methods to look at the whole dog, not just the species. Like people, dogs have different strengths and weaknesses, different ways of learning, and their dog training should be tailored to meet those individual needs. There is not one way to train every dog. Our primary goal is to produce a champion, oh, sorry, our primary goal is to produce a companion animal that bonds with and respects its guardian and has the ability and desire to please. It is important to us that through working with your family, you will be able to better understand canine behavior and how to effectively communicate with your dog. There's no story there. Now I wanna to read to you a story that I've crafted, uh, very similar to the one that I just read for house cleaners, but it's all about dog training, but it doesn't mention dog training in there once. Here we go. It wasn't supposed to be like this. The barking, the jumping, not coming, with, not coming when called, constantly pulling on the leash. Her pup is driving her crazy and she feels terrible. She's tried other dog trainers and her dog still isn't how she wishes. It's all falling on her shoulders and she catches herself questioning. What's everyone else know that I don't? Why is their dog so well behaved? How come their dog doesn't bark all the time or jump up on people when they come over? Why can't I just take my pup to the cafe for some girl time? And deep inside, she feels that she's supposed to be better than this. At night, she lies in bed, staring at the ceiling, wishing something was different. And as she fades to sleep, she dreams of the perfect life, that life she sees everyone else enjoying. She comes home from an exhausting day at work to her new shoes sitting there completely undisturbed. She starts ta uh, taking her dog everywhere with her and no longer are others judging her for having a poorly behaved pup. She starts to entertain her friends again without the constant barking and jumping from people, from her jumping on people, from her dog that is. She gains back that control, freedom, and relaxation that she used to enjoy before they brought home their new four-legged furry family member. Does this sound at all familiar? If so, you're not alone. This perfect life really is waiting for you. The problem is you don't know what you don't know. And so to help you get this life, we've created our fill in the blank with whatever your offer is. If it's a download to learn the five steps to having a well-behaved pup, that's cool. If it's a discount on board and train or on a, a training package or on in-home private training or on a daycare, that's cool as well. But notice the difference between that first ad that I read you that just talked about the service and a little bit about dog behavior and this story that you step into. And by the way, that one was 261 words without the call to action. So it's closer to 300 words. Most of my ads are 300 words. And those, that ad usually gets four to $5 leads for dog trainers all over the US getting the name, email, and phone number of that person. I also wanna ask you a question. If you read that story and you responded to that story, do you think maybe you're more qualified than somebody that reads that ad about dog behavior and how your dog should be a companion? Because I certainly think so, and I've witnessed that. So before I forget, if you'd like some help crafting stories in your business, whether they're for your email messages, whether they're for your Facebook ads, whether they're for scripts for YouTube videos or Instagram videos, what you can do if you'd like some help with that is you can go to bookburk.com and you can answer a couple questions about your business, what industry you're in, et cetera. And then you'll be taken to my calendar where we can book a call and we'll jump on a private brainstorming session. We can actually talk about creating stories like this for you and your business. That's bookburk.com. And so I wanna leave you with this before we wrap up. Um, stories are a very, very powerful medium and there's a ton of information out there about story. Don't stress out if you don't know how to do this. 
If you'd like to learn, one of my favorite authors is James Patterson, and he is really, really good about crafting visual stories that you get sucked into. And if you study his work, in fact, uh, that pile right, I can't figure out where the, there we go, right there at the bottom of my bookshelf, right there. All of those books down there are James Patterson books. I love his works. It's very easy reading and you get sucked in and you honestly forget that you're reading a story. Pretty soon you're 10, 15 chapters in, to be fair, his chapters are pretty short. They're, you know, three, four pages long, but you're 10, 15 chapters in, you're like, oh, I got to get to work. So uh, study really good story writers. James Patterson is one of my favorite storytellers. If you'd like to learn this stuff, uh, grab a couple of his books off Amazon or go ahead and go to bookberk.com. If you're really serious about learning how to use storytelling in your business, in your messaging, go to bookberk.com, book a call with me, and let's create some stories for you to start using in your businesses, in your email, in your Facebook ads, and on your sales calls. And I'm gonna leave you with a story. This happened to me, it's a true story. I was on a sales call with a woman who was wanting to improve her dog training business. And we were talking about what was going on in her business and where she wanted to be. And I just wasn't able to get anywhere. I couldn't find out exactly where she want, what she wanted, where she wanted to be 12 to 24 months from now. And I was starting to get frustrated. And as I got frustrated, I started to, to kind of shut down, to be honest, because I just didn't know how to help her. I knew I could help her, but I didn't know how to help her. And this is when I discovered using story, uh, storytelling in my sales process more than just my ads. I had nothing else to say, and I didn't want to get off the phone with her. I felt really bad because I knew her business. She was amazing at what she did, but I didn't know what to say. I felt like I was failing her. And all of a sudden, I just thought to myself, what can I do? And I told her a story about something that had happened to me at an earlier age in life and how I felt like I always had to have the right answers at all times, because if I didn't have the right answers, I felt like maybe my survival would be at stake. And I just asked her if that sounded familiar to her, uh, because every time I'd ask her a question, she felt like she had to know the answer. It wasn't okay to not know the answer. And what happened next floored me. She broke down crying. And it was, a, I got goosebumps just telling you this right now. It was an amazing experience to share my story with her. And she just said, I never realized I was even doing that. And I am totally doing that. It's just a safe way for me to feel safe and secure is to have the answer. And so I, because I shared my story with her, I was able to invite her into the world of not having the answer. And you could just feel all the tension and stress melt off of her on that call. And we ended up having a really good sales call, created some really good stuff for her to do in her business. And she actually became a client. It was really cool. So the power of story is massive. Use it in your life, use it in your business. And if you'd like me to help you uh, create some stories for your business, just go to bookberk.com, answer a couple questions, book a call with me and we'll get on the phone and we'll actually start creating stories that you can use in your business. Now, these stories don't have to be about you. It was just, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. And that's what popped into my head. I just shared a story about me. And ever since that moment, I've been using stories in my sales calls a lot more and they've been going really, really well. So that's one way you can actually close more sales is through the use and the power of story. So uh, thank you so much for joining me. Let's see if we have any questions here. Uh, I don't see any questions in the comment section. That's okay. If you do have any questions and you'd like to ask them, go ahead and drop them in the comment section. And if you'd like to start using stories, go ahead and come back after you start playing around with this. They don't have to be really good stories. They just have to be what your ideal client, what that family of prospects and clients that you wanna build is going through and will resonate with. And if you don't know uh, what those are, ping me. Maybe I can help you. Drop a comment in, in the question of who your ideal client is and we can come up with some story ideas for you. I love this stuff. It's one of my favorite things, as I said at the beginning of this video, and I think you're gonna love using this in your business as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you liked this video, 
go ahead and uh, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Click that, smash that like button, as they say. And uh, if you have some colleagues or friends that are also entrepreneurs like you, and you think they would benefit from hearing this message about the power of story and how to grow your family around you and how to increase your sales and how to have really good marketing messages, go ahead and share it with them or tag them in the comments section uh, so that they can benefit from this as well. Thank you for joining me today. It was wonderful having you here. It was wonderful sharing my story with you. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a great day.